turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create. Again, thanks for tuning in and watching my next and latest video. Uh, today, we're going to make a galaxy marble. I've done this in the past, but I haven't done it when I've had this nice little uh, lens on here so you can see what's going on inside the flame. So without further ado, here we go. I'm going to start with 10 mil heavy wall, not, not 10 mil solid rod. And uh, I also have some of this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Oh, might have focused. There we go. It has a problem, but you'll see a, a sparkle and glitter going on inside of it. Here, let me tilt it out. Excuse the mess a little bit. There we go. All that sparkle and glitter going on inside that glass is going to become part of the galaxy. Now adjust that back. And without further ado, here we go. Actually, I'm going to first make a thinner strand of this galaxy. And before I do that, I'm going to add an extra added thing to go onto it. Why? Because I can. I won't need a lot of it, but this is going, this is what's called Illuminati glass. And it will uh, put some glow. Sorry about that. It will put some glow inside the glass or, or the galaxy so that it will have some stuff going on. First I'll line this with it. Lay it all the way around. All the way. I think I got, oops. I think I got enough to do the job. It's going to get a little warm on the fingers at the end. And I have more if I have to work with it, but I think this will do it. Almost there. Won't need a lot of this to make this galaxy. I'm hoping it will turn out nice. Won't know. I haven't used this inside one of my galaxies before, so we shall see. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And I'll stretch it out into a nice stringer. As I do that, some of these little bubbles are on the surface. It should pop. Having a single flame in the middle sometimes helps those bubbles to go pop, 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 pop. Some of them are okay to stay in, but we'll deal with it. There we go. Now we got glitter, we got glow. Now let's put it inside of a marble and see how it goes. Right? Right. This is 10 millimeter standard, uh, 10 millimeter tubing. No, rod, excuse me, sorry. I said that and I reached for, tried to switch hands on that and that piece of glass burnt me. Put my fingers where I shouldn't put them. That's one of the things about glass blowing, guys. You're going to get cut, you're going to get burned. And if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, I guess. First of all, I'm going to uh, make this into a little bit of a flat Maria. Press it down. Oh, yeah, that's going to be plenty. Okay, now I gotta pick up that hot rod. Ah, uh, now it went into the floor, of course. When you least expect it. Here we go. Try to show you when I make mistakes and when I have triumphs. 99% of the time I have triumphs. So from your mistakes, you can still win. 
just got to not lose your patience and get frustrated. Right? Right. Oops. Okay. There we go. Put that down. Let's, uh, what I'm going to do is do about five or six strands. I might even make this a little thinner. Matter of fact, I will. Okay. Five or six strands all the way around this. Just like I'm doing. I might even do more than six. There we go. We'll see. And this will become very, very interesting. With what the way I'm doing this. You'll see very shortly. One more. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go to a single flame. There we go. That's a little bit too blunt to do what I want to do. So I'm going to heat this up. And I have an L mark. And actually, I'll do it here on the ground so you can see it a little better. And I'll make sure like a pencil point. It's about half that thickness of what it was. Keep rolling it down and you can make it down even sharper. You can do that with the L marber that's just above the, uh, the torch, but this time I, I went ahead and did it so you guys could see what I was doing. I'm heating this all up. I'm going to touch and twist and spin. Spin, 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 spin. Let it cool. Snap it off. And now I'll flatten it a little bit. And layer clear on the other side. And we have ourselves a galaxy. Inside a marble. Looking good so far. Now all I got to do is add the uh, clear to the other end, add some more flame, I'm going to put this right into the oven, there ever hurts, and I will try to show it to you guys a little bit later on, probably tomorrow. bit more clear on this side. Probably have to add more clear on the other side as well. Some of the swirl pattern is out on the outer edge of this, but it's okay. And I think I've got enough glass for what I want to do. Top and bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. A DQ swirl comes in handy like I just did. So you can swirl it on and without having that nice long thin strands that you can get stab you all over the table and all that sort of rah rah. Oops. Nudge the whole camera system. No, the uh, torch system where the camera is pointing at. But anyway. Here we go. When I do the, the spinning around inside the marble mold, I am not forcing it in there and I'm not pressing hard. I'm just gently spinning practically from the time I put it in there. And you gotta get the glass molten enough for it to do this. Sometimes you might have some heavy duty warps or something going on so you can press it a little bit sometimes. But the idea is gently spin. Don't force it. If you're forcing the glass, you're doing the wrong things. Okay, I'll uh, 
Kind of try to shorten this down into even a smaller rod or a smaller point. There we go. Part of the punte system so that uh, <coughs> okay. One of the things you can check to make sure that you got it pretty much round is the light bulb or, or the uh, studio light in the top. You can see the lines as you spin it around. Really, they see it. See, there's one right there in the middle, but I'm going to be getting that anyway. Here it is, right about there. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, you might not be able to see this. Sorry. There you go. Sorry. I had it out. I could see it, but you guys couldn't. But you can see the glare in the light, and right about... It's there somewhere. Anyway, that's how you can tell if it's round or not. Now I'm going to heat and pull it off on the other end. And mount the other half. You only have to heat half of it at the time. If you're starting to heat all of it, then you're going to get into a few complications. Sometimes you've got to do that, but most of the time I usually heat only one half of the marble at a time. Otherwise, it starts slumping on you and flumping out of your way and not doing what you want it to do. You can go a little over the halfway mark, but not much. Otherwise, again, you'll start melting the punte that you got it on and causing problems. And you're doing this gently inside that. You're not trying to push it. You're just trying to make it round. And they'll be high and low points when you take it out of the flame. But that's what the flame's for, to smooth it all out, to make it all one even level. One all even level. I'll do that one more time. And I'm going to call this marble quits for the day. I love making my marbles. I figured I was going to get older and start losing my marbles, so I decided to start making them to make to, to make up for it, right? Now, where I have that punte mark, I'll tap it off. And it's a nice little... Actually, you can see the glare in the shard right there. I'll tilt it a little bit more towards the flame. And let that fire po polish and smooth in to where you can't even tell. And again, you really can't... S oh, you can see the glitter in there. Oh, yeah. Let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry. I'm excited about it, but you can't see it. Okay, I think I got it back down to zero. Uh, here we go. I'll sort of move it around a little bit. You can't see it in there, can you? Oop, I got a major dimple there I got to get rid of. Sorry. Need to... Glad I did look at it. Right about there. Oops! Again, you see my mistakes as well as my good points here. There it is. Found a mistake. Zoom back in for you. Looking at it this side. Oh, there's a warp. So again, looking at it through the light helps a whole lot to let you see high points, low points, and major dimples. And I'm hoping this time around... Oh, it's... Yeah, you can see that glitter in there, sparkle glitter. Sweet. 
and you could probably see the glow in there as well but because of the situation until it cools down you will not see any UV reactive glass in there that's just the way nature of the beast and I can't there's another dimple I am having some fun today But I got them all. Cold seal. Cold weld, same idea. And you just heat and smooth. Nothing major, it just sort of a. I think I got it. And I'm going to call that one quits. Said that about five minutes ago, didn't I? It's all in the uh, matter of also making sure that you smooth out where you had your punte. And that's going straight into the oven. Again, I will try to show you a picture of this tomorrow. Always, carpe vitro, and enjoy your day. Thanks for being there, guys.